Well, we now come to Zechariah's first vision. We're at chapter 1, verses 8 and 9. Let's listen. I saw by night, and behold, a man riding on a red horse, and it stood among the myrtle trees in the hollow. And behind him were horses, red, sorrel, and white. Then I said, My Lord, what are these? So the angel who talked with me said to me, I will show you what they are. So Zechariah sees this vision. It's night. There's a main individual who's on a horse. There's three others behind him on horses. And uh, they're in a nook, a kind of a space with trees in it, myrtle trees. And there they are. And that's, that's the vision that God presents to his servant, Zechariah. So Zechariah, in his visions, he usually has an angel guide. And so, look, if you've got an angel guide, what are you waiting for? It's time to ask questions. I'd ask him. And so he says, hey, what, what is it that I've just seen? And the angel's going to tell him. We're going to wait for that till tomorrow morning. But for now, let's just think about what was shown to Zechariah. So there's a hierarchy here. This is about command and control. So the wealth of nations was invested in horses because, you know, that gives you cavalry, that gives you uh, chariots and military might. And so the kings always uh, did, did, did what they could to have a good a good army. So here is this picture that Zechariah has shown. Guys on horses uh, and patrolling back and forth. These horsemen give them the ability to scout the territory very quickly. This was that state-of-the-art military stuff back in Zechariah's day. So yes, here are guys that are able to very quickly patrol. So the fact that it's night and that these riders are mounted, that's another interesting piece because they're ready to patrol and go off at any moment and address something. So there's a lot of vigilance going on here. Remember that the nation's been in captivity for 70 years. Only recently has it come back. And although things are moving slowly, you know, you might get the idea, well, nothing's happening. Uh, God is not doing anything. But, but God is always has his sentinels. God is always ready. And he always is very aware of what's going on in across his realm at a moment's notice. So we're going to hear the report from the riders tomorrow, but just because there's nothing apparently happening is not a signal to tell us that nothing's about to happen. There is, at any given time, God is ready to move. God's ready to take care of whatever action needs to be. But as we look around, we often look and we, we see uh, these crazy developments in the world and we see, well, it looks like the devil's on the move, but what's God doing? Let's, let's hold on now because... God is very alert. He's very aware. He's more aware than you and I are and that there's stuff happening and God will intervene in his time. And when he does, it's going to be dramatic. We can be pretty sure of that. So let's not uh, get distracted. Let's not feel like, oh, nothing's happening. God's sentinels, oh, he's watching and they're ready at any time to move and act. And we need to be ready. We need to be vigilant just as well. Because God may have something for us to do. And if we're busy sitting in the barracks doing nothing, uh, when he calls on us, that won't really meet his purposes. So let's stay alert. And just because things appear to be calm doesn't mean that there's calm just ahead. There might be a lot of adventure just ahead. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning.